Well, eight years ago, my life was sort of inadvertently changed by innocently traveling from Chicago to Detroit with some friends and unsuspectingly dropping in at the widow Marx's house in New Troy, Michigan, and, and, and totally in unplanned fashion seeing a deluxe piano in for the first time in my life. It was a mixed blessing, let me tell you. Um, for, eight, for the first two years I had it, I just sort of looked at it in a state of paralyzed awe. And um, it took a while to get beyond that and, and just be glad you're hearing me play this thing today and not six years ago. <laughs> there were no precedents for it, you understand, when I got it. It's a deluxe piano lin, and it has no mother and, and no even hardly distant cousins. And so it was starting from scratch. I had no book. I had no teacher. Um, this part of it is... is uh, there's a chromatic scale that I just played with the bow, and then a series of five chords over here. And you put those together, and then you try to think of songs to do. <laughs> Which brings me to about 1978, <laughs> and, uh, and, I, and I have learned a few, a couple of which I'd like to do for you now. The first one is, uh, is on the new record uh, that Randy mentioned earlier. It's a tune that Alistair Anderson wrote for the concertina, an instrument that Ray will be playing later. He will make appear magically on the table where it was a little while ago and play it for you. And this is a tune, the first time I heard it, I, I knew I wanted to learn it on the piano in. Finally did a couple of years later. It's called The Darkening.
That second song. That second song is by Turlock O'Carolyn. It's called Planks to Irwin, which was the first O'Carolyn song that I ever heard, in fact, my introduction to his glorious music. Well, I'm going to do a little tune 